In Batman Forever, Val Kilmer takes on the mantle of the Cape Crusader. In a film that shifts towards a more vibrant and stylistic approach compared to its predecessors. The movie showcases Batman's struggle against new foes, the enigmatic Riddler portrayed by Jim Carrey, and the vengeful Two-Face played by Tommy Lee Jones. Kilmer's Batman is caught between his dual identities, grappling with his past as Bruce Wayne while embracing his role as Gotham's protector. The film delves into Bruce Wayne's psychological conflicts, exploring his unresolved trauma and the burden of his secret life. Amidst this turmoil, he forms an alliance with Dick Grayson, played by Chris O'Donnell, who eventually becomes Robin. Batman Forever blends action, drama, and a touch of camp, presenting a Batman who is both heroic and human, with Kilmer bringing a nuanced performance to the iconic character. Hey you everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we take a nostalgic trip back to Gotham City with McFarlane's latest collectible dweeb of Batman Forever. This time, let us set the stage with our main hero, Batman. Let's start with the packaging. The front of the box states DC Multiverse Batman, and it is number one of four characters to collect to build Nightmare Bat. It has a huge clear window where you can see the figure and everything that comes with it. At the right side of the box, we see the logo of the movie, McParlane Toys Batman, Batman Forever. The left shows a continuation of the clear window, McParlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Batman. Finally, the back of the box shows a photo of the collectible figure, Nightmare Bat. The part of the collectible included in this figure and a photo of all the characters in the way. Now, let us crack this thing open and see if McFarlane did justice to this character in action figure form. The figure scales at 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters. As for the accessories, it comes with a standard McFarlane art card with a small data file at the back. Standard McFarlane base or stand with a DC logo. A pair of alternate weapon holding hands. This is in addition to the close fist hands that is already in here with him out of the box. One of his grappling hook. I think it's more like a grappling hook gun. A batarang. And another type of batarang which he used in the movie. Since this is part of the collectible wave, he comes with the head of the nightmare bat with an articulated jaw. And the base stand for the collectible nightmare bat. Since this is the last video or the, la the last figure in the Nightmare Bat collectible wave that I'll be reviewing. I will include my review of the Nightmare Bat in this video. So let us focus with the figures. Okay, so this Batman, specifically Val Kilmer Batman, I think is basically the same mold as the one in the Ultimate 
six pack collector's edition collection Batman, which I was not able to get because I know that they will be releasing a Batman Forever Wave. Unfortunately, though, despite of the fact that this is the same mold, what they did here is that they changed the color here of the head and the cowl instead of making him full metallic into this full metallic uh, bluish color he turned it black and then the gauntlet they also turned it black and then the boots was also turned black so if you're the kind of guy who wants uh, your figure to be movie accurate i guess the way to go is that six pack batman collection or six pack batman ultimate batman collection uh is it a bad figure i don't think so i know i i guess if if you are as i said if you want accuracy with the movie this is not it but does it look bad for a batman costume i don't i don't think it is i can live with it i just wish that you know instead of going this way they just made all of it this color including the belt because i think on that six pack batman ultimate collection the belt is still also not colored like this but if you look at the movie the whole costume of bell kilmer is colored like this this metallic blue and that would be that would have been more awesome but yeah, I guess this is a decision that they made in order for us to still seek that six-pack Batman. They did not even give him a wired cape, which at least somehow would have made this figure a little better. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they did it, but again, technically, since I didn't get that six pack Batman, this is now my Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer or Batman Forever version figure. And yeah, I think I can live with it. I don't think I'll be buying that whole six pack Batman just for this figure, just to get an accurate version of him. And I'm kind of hoping that moving forward, maybe in the future, McFarlane will still release. Uh, Bal Kilmer figure which is more accurate and since this is a complete reuse of that mold nothing's really different here I'm just gonna give you guys a quick scan of the sculpt and the mold here's the side the back This is my actually my favorite Batman costume as far as the movie versions are concerned. Yeah, still overall, this is an amazing uh, mold of Batman. For the articulation, you can do that. You can look down, you can look up. So that's for the head articulation. For the hand, you can do the tifos kind of rotation there. Bicep cut, double jointed elbow, double peg wrist. Abdominal cut. Waist rotation, tie articulation, double jointed knee. So there it has articulation like that. It can do that. Toe articulation, then ankle rocker. You can kick that far you can kick back that far and you can do the bend down 
So yeah. So no surprise on that part of this figure. Standard McFarlane articulation. But don't get me wrong, guys. I still love this figure, despite of the mismatched black color. Now for the collectible figure. So my question is, do we really need this? I mean, did someone did someone actually ask for this? So I don't really know why this is the build of you that they decided to build. It's basically something that just appeared on Valkyrie's uh, Batman's mind. I think. I think it's when um, Batman went into the into the machine that Enigma used, and they were able to read his mind. Or I also had this info that this is basically a deleted scene, like a nightmare nightmare scene in Batman Forever that was deleted. Anyway, um, it is a huge bat, basically, and. I think if you want to, it will pass because it is a very big, it is a very big figure. It will pass like a live action man bat. Like a live action man bat. The only problem that I have with it is that it's arti it, articulation wise, it is pretty limited. So its head can do that. And then the jaw is articulated. So it can open and close its mouth. Then the wings can do that. It can also rotate. But basically, that is it. Sorry, it's too big. The legs are fixed. Yeah. Will it pass as a man bed? Uh, yeah, I think I can, I think it can. Anyway, uh, I think, I do think that this, uh, Nightmare Bat will make a good, uh, will really look good on your shelf if you will display him together with the Val Kilmer Batman. So, yeah, I think that still looks cool. Anyway, uh, is this figure worth buying? Um, honestly, if you already have the the six pack, the the Batman Forever version in that ultimate six pack Batman, I don't think so because it is basically the same figure with that is not even more color accurate. It is not color accurate. The one in the six pack Batman set is more accurate in a way to the movie. So for me, it is not a buy. It, you can easily pass it up if you already have that. If you don't have a Batman Forever version, uh, if you'll be able to ha see a good deal of buying only this, especially those retailers who sells the six pack, you know, who breaks them and sells them individually, just like what I did, I was able to buy the Pattinson and the Bill Batman on that six pack. I was not able to catch this one because I guess in my area, this Batman for the Batman Forever uh, ber uh, version is the one that is uh, that sold like hotcakes when my retailer sold it, uh, sold the six pack by piece, and I wasn't able to catch it. So my only option is to buy this one, kind of hoping that will look better, but. No, nah. color wise, it doesn't match, but I'm not saying that it doesn't look better. It's not just movie accurate, but in the end, this is still a good looking Batman figure. The head sculpt is still looks kind of like Balcomer. But yeah, as I said, if you don't like the change, the black color that they added here, and you want it to be more movie accurate, and you don't really care about this build up figure, the Nightmare Bat. This is an easy pass. This figure is an easy pass. But if you're like me, who is a huge Batman fan and basically a collectionist, a completist, 
Yeah, uh, and and as I said, I wasn't able to get the bat the Batman Forever figure, so this is the only option I had right now. I still like it. It's still a good addition to my collection. So, guys, if you reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. If you like my video, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. It really helps a lot. And as usual, enjoy life and keep collecting.